Now, say a spectral series of hydrogen atom. So, we have done total energy of the electrons in the orbit and now in the ground state and excited state of the hydrogen also here. So, the electrons in the ground state and excited state or in the differences have the different energies. So, we have derived this formula 1 upon lambda that is also called nu number this is the wave number is equal to here r into 1 upon n 1 square minus 1 upon n 2 square. Here we can write 1 upon lambda is equal to r into n 1 can be written 1 upon n i square minus 1 upon here n f we can take here n f and here n i square this is initial state. Whether you take this or this both are the same thing as here. Now, if you are taking first one is the Lyman series. In Lyman series what happen? We take 1 upon lambda is equal to r into 1 upon 1 minus 1 upon 2 square. It means we can take n 2 is equal to that is n i initial state we can write here 2, 3, 4 like this. So, when the electron jump from second orbit to the first orbit, third orbit to the first orbit or the fourth orbit to the first orbit in all the cases wavelength or you know the radiations are emitted and in this case whatever the series of the wavelength is obtained or spectrum is obtained that is called Lyman series. In this case a spectrum obtained is in the ultraviolet region. So, here we can also get the maximum wavelength and minimum wavelength emitted in this series. We can take now the second one is the Balmer series. In the Balmer series what happen? This is here Balmer series. In Balmer series n f is equal to here we can take 2 and n i is equal to 3, 4, 5 like this. It means electrons are jumping from third orbit to the second, from the fourth orbit to the second or the next other all orbits to the second orbit. So, whatever the spectrum is obtained in this case that is called actually the Balmer series and in this case whatever the spectrum is obtained that is in here actually visible region. So, a spectrum is here in the visible region. Now, we can see also the third one. Third one is third series is here we can take Pastion series. In Pastion series we can take n f is equal to here in this case 3 and n i is equal to 4, 5, 6 like this. So, electrons are jumping from the fourth orbit or the fifth or sixth to the third orbit. In this case whatever the spectrum is obtained or the series of the wavelengths are obtained that is known as Pastion series. In this case spectrum obtained is in here the infrared region, infrared region. So, there are the this is the third one. We can also do the fourth series. Fourth one is we can take that is called bracket. In bracket series we can take n f is equal to 4 and n i is equal to 5, 6, 7 like this to infinite. And here we get whatever the spectrum that we can write here like this 1 upon lambda is equal to r into 1 upon 4 square minus 1 upon n i square. And we can replace the value of n i by these whatever the spectrum is obtained that belongs to here the far infrared region. So, the last one is also here this is there are the 5 series here. So, this is the fourth one. The last one is here P fund series. In P fund series here 1 upon lambda is equal to r into 1 upon n f square minus 1 upon n i square. Here n f is equal to we can take here the fifth one and n i we can take 6, 7 like this. So, we can write 1 upon lambda is equal to r into 1 upon 5 square minus 1 upon n i square and we can replace n i by these values and whatever the you know the spectrum is obtained that belongs to the far infrared region. So, these are the different spectral series of hydrogen atom. Now, we can see energy levels. We have done the total energy is minus 13.6 electron volt upon n square. 
if you are taking n is equal to 1, then you will be getting E is equal to minus 13.6 electron volt. That is energy of the electron in the grounded, ground state. If you are putting here n is equal to 2, then you will be getting E is equal to minus 3.4 electron volt. If you are taking, putting here n is equal to 3, you will be getting E is equal to minus 1.5 electron volt and n is equal to 4, you will be getting E is equal to minus 0 0.85 electron volt. We can take for the different orbits here in this case. Now, we can make the energy label and show the transition of the you know the electrons. So, first one we can take, suppose this label is of the first one n is equal to 1, that is minus 13.6 electron volt. Second, we can take here n is equal to 2 that is minus 3.4 electron volt and then we can take here n is equal to 3 this is minus 1.5 electron volt and then we can take here like this that is n is equal to 4 and here that is minus 0 0.85 electron volt. Then we can take here like this many are here 5, 6, 7, 8 like this and we can go for this is here the 0 energy level that is n is equal to infinite and 0. Above this that is the ionized atom ionization takes place. Now, see in this case when the electron jump from any these orbits to the first level like this emission of the radiation here and that is called Lyman series. Now, when the atom jumps or the electrons jump sorry from this to the second state, then we call it that is a Balmer series and when the here jumping of the electrons take place from this that is called here Lyman, Balmer and that we called here Paschen. And when this is here jumping to this they are called here the bracket, bracket series and when the jumping takes place to this is here that is called p fund. So, this is, these are the different energy labels and transition of you know the electrons from the different orbits to the different one. And when you know this is the infinite state you are taking to the infinite state the you know the energy in that case after that required energy that becomes 0 that becomes that is ionization electrons leaves the orbit and goes to the infinite distance. So, this is about the ionization. 